What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free general collective reading, oracle card reading for sinus uh, cancer. This can resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charge. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Free general oracle card reading for sign of cancer for May, mid-May of 2022. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 12,590 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess to drop by. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash up, but Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display your name or, um, well, sometimes I display how much you donate, but I never display your name. For privacy and confidentiality purposes, um, just same the same. Love you guys. I did receive a couple channelings as I was meditating on your mid-May of 2022's Oracle Card Reading. The first one, I heard a beachside cove is about to become very, very significant for a particular cancer. So some kind of beachside cove energy, however that applies in one slide. And the second one, I heard someone has been trying to communicate with you, contact you, but you have not communicated through many series of chain of events. It's about to happen whether you want it to or not. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, if that resonates uh, for you, Cancer. Somebody's been trying to communicate and contact you, if this resonates for you. Um, but it sounds like, I don't know if you are intentionally not contacting this person back <clears throat> or, you know, if something in life is prevented it or what have you. But however that resonates through many series of chain of events, it's about to happen whether you want it to or not. Um, it could be one person trying to communicate and contact with you, uh, communicate and contact you. It could be two plus, only you know your story, not anybody else can answer. Spirit messages you have for sign of An illegal business of the past is about to become very, very, very significant in a particular cancer's life. Very significant. One IRS communication. One drama from others. Okay, I heard a particular illegal business is about to become very, very significant in a particular cancer's life. Uh, one, is you guys, it sounds like you're about to get IRS communication regarding this illegal business of the past. One, a lot of drama from others. So, um, you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates in your life, Cancer. Spirit messages here have some Cancer. And a particular cancer is about to become a hero soon. Older feminine cancer. About to tell it how it is. Tell them the truth when other people did not. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, that's a good one. And an older cancer, so I'm assuming you're 40 or above cancer feminine, if that resonates for you. Heard you're about to become a hero. You're about to tell the truth when other people did not. Um, or has not, or will not, how that resonates, um, and you're about to become a hero in a situation. So you plug it in, how it resonates, older cancer. You could have cancer in your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or thin, behavior, your Jupiter charts. Feel your 40 or above if that resonates for you. Chaos, activation. Dealings or relationship with a woman in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Situation in the balance that requires careful handling.
Parrot spirit, watch your words. Butterfly spirit, transformation is beautiful. For some, you could be, I, for some, I strongly feel you're dealing with air signs because you have double air sign energy here. If you are, you, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, they may have energy for your charts. If you are Cancer, um, you have double air sign energy here. So I feel for some, you're dealing with at least one air sign. For some, two plus air signs. Like I said, they could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, they may have energy for your charts. If you are, number 45, 11, 42 or 36 could be very significant numbers in one slide. 45, 11, 42 or 36. It could be a possible age of a child of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date of birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number. 45, 11, 42, 36. Parrot spirit, watch your words. A particular statement is about to be asked to be given by cancer soon. Make sure to put the truth in there. The truth. Okay. I heard a particular cancer is about to um, be asked to give a statement soon. I heard uh, make sure to put the truth in there. The truth. So, um, you know, the truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God kind of energy is what I'm feeling. So you're about to be asked to give, be, uh, to give a statement soon. So watch your words as far as making sure to put nothing but the truth in there. Um, regardless, um, I feel for some, you uh, have been pressured to lie. You've been pressured to lie. You've been pressured to uh, twist it. You've been pressured to um, turn it around in a weird way. But I heard it'd be very smart to put the truth and nothing but the truth. Because a lot of people are being questioned about this. A lot. Know this. Way more people than you think. Okay, I heard because a lot of people are being questioned about this. A lot. Way more people than you think. So watch your words in this statement. If this uh, resonates for you, Cancer, uh, masculine or feminine, how that resonates for you. Because I've heard a lot of people are being asked about this. A lot. Not just you. Um, so it's very, very important to put the truth, nothing but the truth. So help you God kind of energy in there. Because um, and truth's going to come out anyways. Whether people try to twist it, lie, etc., etc., etc. Whether it comes out in video camera evidence, voice recording evidence, witness statements, um, text messages, emails, um, uh, compliance, corporate, hotline, energy, what have you, it is going to come out. Um, so watch your words in this statement is what I'm feeling. A particular Virgo is really trying to pressure a particular cancer. into not doing the right thing. However, through many series of chain of events, this cancer is about to do it anyways because they know they need to. It is very, very, very important to do so. To protect themselves and a situation. Because it's coming out whether this Virgo wants it to or not, and they know it. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So you, Virgo, I'm, I'm sorry, not you, Virgo, you, Cancer, you're being pressured by a Virgo in your life. A masculine or femme Virgo, they could have Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or they may have energy for your charts. Whoever this Virgo is to you and how they apply. I feel like it could be anybody. It could be a spouse, a partner, a lover, a past lover, a neighbor, a co-worker, a former co-worker, a community liaison. I mean, whoever it is, family member, etc. But it's some kind of Virgo energy trying to pressure you basically to twist something. Twist something because they don't want the truth coming out. But I heard basically you're going to do it. You're going to, through a series of chain of events, you had not done it yet, but you're going to do it because you know the truth's coming out. And I heard it's going to come out anyways, whether this Virgo wants it to come out or not. I heard it's already coming out. So, you know, watch your words. Watch what you say to people. Watch um, your actions. Um, and make sure you put the truth in this very important statement or affidavit or what have you. I heard statement, but it is, you know, whatever it is. It's something very important is um, 
a statement on recountment of events. So I feel it to be a statement or an affidavit or something of that nature. Butterfly spirit transformation is beautiful. A particular cancer is, is in the process of transforming their life for some. For some, they're about to start transforming their life in a very positive way. One, they are about to uh, buy a home, rent to own. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. That's beautiful, cancer. So one of you guys is in the process or already transforming your life. One, you're about to be in the process of transforming your life. Um, one of you guys I heard is about to buy a home soon, rent to own. So it sounds like um, you are already rent to owning it or you're about to rent to own it. And that could be the transformation process in your life, whether you've already began it or you're about to. The transformation is beautiful energy with the rent, rent to own of this home, whether you're already rent to owning it or you're about to. How that resonates. For some, you could be rent, rent to owning this home from an air sign um, or about to rent to own this home from an air sign or uh, maybe some the person um, you're about to write this statement or affidavit on. Maybe it's a, um, regarding an air sign or to an air sign or something of that nature because we have double air sign energy in here. So much chaos is about to break out in particular cancer's work area unit. They're about to request to move units. It's about to upset your manager, but you know you need to do what's best for you. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, cancer. My lord, I heard so much chaos is about to break out in a particular unit. Sounds like a unit you work in currently, cancer. Um, I heard um, you're about to request to move units. Uh, I heard it's going to upset your manager, but you know you need to do, it, do what's best for you. So, you know, you're, it sounds like you're highly intuitive and you know your manager's going to be upset when you request this, but in, at the end of the day, you have to do what's best for you. So, um, you know they're going to be upset, but you have to do what's best for you. Absolutely. Woman, dealing with a relationship with a woman. A particular filing on a feminine energy is about to become very, very, very significant in a cancer's life. Some, a cancer is about to put this filing on this feminine energy. For some, a uh, feminine energy is about to put a filing on, on this cancer. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular filing is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For some... You, Cancer, it sounds like you're about to have this filing put on you. For some, you're about to put it on the spam energy. It sounds like a court court related filing, um, if that resonates. For some, it could be an air sign fem energy, possibly. For some, maybe not. So we have a lot of air sign energy in here. Um, but only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in how it resonates. But some kind of court filing energy, whether you're get, about to get it placed on you or a uh, or the fem energy is about to, whether the fem energy is about to place it on you or you're about to place it on the fem energy. Whoever this fem energy is and how they apply. For some, I feel that like they could be an air sign. For some, maybe not. But it's definitely feminine energy.
Okay, I didn't hear anything else. A Virgo is about to ask for a divorce soon from a cancer. For some, a Taurus is about to ask for a divorce from a cancer. It's about to shock the hell out of you. Oh, my Lord. I heard for some, a Taurus is about to ask for a divorce from a cancer. For some, a... Uh, for some, a Taurus is about to ask for a divorce from a, from a Cancer. For some, a uh, Virgo is. So for some, a Taurus, for some, a Virgo is about to ask for a divorce from a Cancer. I heard it's about to shock you. I feel it's a femme energy about to ask for a divorce from you, Cancer, or a masculine that takes on heavy femme. Um, however that resonates. Um, but I feel they're your spouse. They're your spouse, either a femme energy or a um, masculine that takes on heavy femme. They're either a Taurus or a Virgo, if that resonates for you. Hand in need of help, assistance, and guidance. Severe understaffing is about to become a very severe issue in a cancer's life in a workplace situation. Severe understaffing. Okay, I heard severe understaffing is about to become a severe issue in a particular cancer's life. Um, severe understaffing. So some kind of severe understaffing energy in your life, Cancer. Um, you could be the manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO, or you could just be dealing with this severe understaffing issue, or you could be a part of it, um, of the group dynamic that is severely understaffed. However, that resonates and applies. For some cancers, they're about to apply for public assistance. For some, they will get it. For some, they will not. Okay, for some cancers, they're about to apply for public assistance. For some of you guys, you will get it. For some, you will not. So in this aspect, it's applying for public assistance. If this resonates and applies for you, I heard for some, you will get it. For some, you will not. Grasshopper situations in the balance that require careful handling. One cancer has already moved physical locations. One is about to move physical locations far away. Okay, I heard one cancer has already moved physical locations far away. Another cancer is about to move physical locations far away. So a lot of moving energy. Uh, that could be the situation in the balance that requires careful handling. Maybe you need to take into account cost of living. Maybe you need to take into account the bills. Um, the traveling expenses, um, how much it's going to cost, etc., 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 rent, uh, or if you're buying, cost of the home, etc., etc., etc. I think this is financial related for the moving expenses and things of that nature, unless you were in a company that pays for re relocation. However, that applies um, in one's life because some companies pay for relocation, some do not. It depends on your position, stature in the company, etc., etc., etc. Confirmation from Fat Boy. Come on, buddy. Come on. But I heard one of you guys is about to, um, one of you have already moved. One, you're about to, and it's far physical locations. I think you're having money problems um, or manifestation problems um, wherever you're at, whether you've already moved far locations or you're about to. Chaos. A significant assault of a co-worker is about to become very, very significant in a cancer's life. Okay, I heard a particular assault of a co-worker is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. So assault of co-worker energy, I don't feel it's you. I've been picking this up in several signs. I think you're the second or the third sign I picked it up in. 
um, some kind of assault of a coworker energy. It doesn't sound like it's you about um, that's already that's been assaulted or is about to be assaulted. However, that resonates. It sounds like it's somebody you're connected to. Um, for some, that could be what you're about to be asked to give the statement or affidavit on, or etc. 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 However, that applies in one's life. Uh, possibly cancer. For some, it could be something else. But some kind of assault of a coworker energy. I don't feel it's you. I feel it is somebody you're connected to, or you are on the sidelines and you watched it happen, or um, you hear about it, or etc. 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 Now, assault of a coworker could be with the, their hands. If it's, it sounds like it's coworker, coworker, coworker to coworker. It could be with their hands or body parts that they're assaulting them with, or it could be with the object, physical object, or it could be verbal, or it could be a combination of one or two plus of those things, how that resonates. But chaos energy is the assault of the coworker to coworker energy. It's about to become very significant in your life. So I feel for some, you might be asked to write statements or affidavits or something of that nature regarding it. For some, it's the illegal business of the past. Severe paperwork issues here, financial issues. For some, it's the illegal business of the past. I heard for some severe paperwork and legal issues here. Um, so for some of you guys, you are involved in some kind of legal business of the past or some kind of severe paperwork and legal issues here regarding this. Um, illegal business of the past. And for some, I feel it's IRS related. Um, and for anybody who doesn't know, the IRS will only contact you via mail, period, point blank. Only mail. If somebody calls you saying they're with the IRS, they're a scammer. Just uh, for everybody. Uh, to know common knowledge there okay um so chaos energy with the illegal business of the past uh, if you were involved in that or you're connected to someone that was A very significant weed eater is about to become significant in a cancer's life. A lemon. Very frustrating. For some, a microwave. For some, your neighbors. About to get way out of hand. Oh, my Lord. For some of you guys, a uh, significant weed eater, weed eater is about to become very significant in your life. For some, a microwave. It sounds like they're duds and lemons and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. For some, your neighbors are, I heard, about to get way out of hand, about to cause severe chaos. So chaos energy of your neighbors or frustration of this weed eater becoming a lemon or is a lemon or this microwave becoming a lemon or is a lemon. However, that resonates. Activation. And activation is air sign energy, too, and you have a lot of air sign energy in here. I mean a lot. Triple confirmation, two air sign animal spirit cards and the activation card, air sign card. A cancer is about to reveal significant information, some on a Gemini, some on a Libra, very soon. These people never thought you would reveal it, but you are about to reveal it. You know it's you know it is smart to do it, to cover your ass. Because information is coming out at all ends very quickly, and it's going to continue, and you are right. Oh, my Lord. So you plug it in how it resonates. I heard a particular cancer is about to reveal information. Some on a Gemini, some on a Libra. It could be masculine or femme Gemini, masculine or femme Libra. I heard um, they could have, I'm sorry, masculine or femme Gemini, masculine or femme Libra. They could have Gemini or Libra and their sun, moon, rising. Venus, North, they may have in Jupiter charts. I heard you're about to do it, cancer, basically to CYA yourself. Uh, because information is coming out quickly and all, at all ends. So all over the freaking place. Um, is coming out, whether these people want it to or not. So you're going to help deliver what you know, basically, is what it sounds like. Um, I heard because you know what's coming out anyways, and I heard you're right, it is. So whoever, whatever information on this Gemini and Libra you're about to reveal on, you're about to reveal it. For some, it's a Pisces. 
Okay, for some it's a Gemini, for some it's a Libra, for some it's Pisces. They could have Gemini, Libra, or Pisces, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, and Hamish, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you, Cancer. So for some of you guys, it's a Gemini, for some it's a Libra, for some it's Pisces. They could have Gemini, Libra, or Pisces, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Moon, and Hamish, Jupiter charts. If that resonates for you. But I feel it's because um, you know what's coming out. I heard you know what's coming out, and I heard you're right, it is. And it's coming out all over the place. It's not just coming out from a couple areas. It's coming out all over the freaking place, all over the universe. But you are highly intuitive, and you know what it is. So that's why you're about to reveal whatever you know on this situation is what I'm feeling. For some, I think a Virgo very strongly doesn't want you to reveal it, but you're about to do it anyways, whether they want you to or not. A particular potluck at a workplace situation soon is about to make a lot of people ill. A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people ill. It is about to piss off an earth sign in a huge way. You, For one cancer, you will be ill in this. There will be an investigation on this as well. Oh, my Lord. Hope. Oh. God, that sounds like poisoning. I mean, I didn't hear poisoning, but it sounds like poisoning. Jesus. So you plug it in, how it resonates. I heard a significant, it sounds like this potluck is, hasn't happened yet, but it's about to. Some kind of potluck energy in a public workspace situation. For some of you guys, it sounds like you work with these people and you're going to participate in this potluck. It sounds like you're going to eat from this public potluck situation. Because uh, I heard one of you guys, you will get ill from it. You will get Ill, Ill as well. It sounds like not just you if you get ill. For uh, for some you may, for some you may not. It sounds like at least once one cancer in this situation is going to get ill. But um, but it sounds like a lot of people are going to get ill from this public potluck. Um, however this applies in one's life. I heard it's going to piss off um, Earth sign that is going to basically make a bunch of people ill. Um, but I heard there will be an investigation from this. So maybe you're the one that's going to do the investigation on this public potluck it sounds like a public potluck poisoning. Uh, I didn't hear poisoning in here, but my God, if so many people get ill, it's putting two and two together. I mean, there's something in there that isn't right, and that's just the truth, you know? So I, I think with the public potluck poisoning, I'm just saying, but you plug it in how it resonates. But however that resonates, I heard there will be an investigation on it. But it sounds like a public workplace investigation because so many people are going to get ill. They might have to go down. They might have to go to the ER. They might have to go to a clinic. They might have to go get treated for this. I mean, it sounds like it's that bad. Um, I heard it's going to piss off an earth sign. So I think an earth sign is the one that uh, one or two plus earth signs is the ones that uh, put together this public potluck. Um how that resonates. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Um, they have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. Um, but it sounds like it hasn't happened yet. It's about to. But it sounds like the company is going to get involved and investigate it because so many people are going to get ill. And my gosh, yeah, it sounds like it. My goodness. Um, this is terrible. I don't know if it's food poisoning or if somebody's going to put something in the potluck or what have you, but it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like it's about to. I'm going to deem it the public potluck poisoning. But you plug it in how it resonates. That could be the activation of all these people about to get ill from this public potluck with the chaos. The public potluck poisoning. Dear God. Like I said, you could be the one, one of the ones about to investigate this. You could be one of the ones that's about to get ill from this. Um, or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. How that resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I didn't hear anything else. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. I hope everybody has um, a wonderful night and namaste.